right, guys. Guess where we're going today. So I'm fully snacked up. I'm fully gassed up, guys. We're heading over to the desert. We're heading over to Anza, Borrego, guys. I want to hit up the wind caves. So uh, I'm going to show you a few guys on the way there. It's actually pretty green and a lot of mountains and shit. And it's like, imagine in one hour, this is going to turn to bear fucking desert, guys. Uh, it's like a landscape out of, um, you know, a fucking movie or something. But, you know, instead of drive over there, it's quite peaceful. And we pass by, I believe, a big lake and <clears throat> plenty of spots I could pull over and piss because I'm already starting to feel it, guys. So, but I'm planning to hit up the wind caves and... Essentially, yeah, so here's some mountains, and here's the lake, as you guys can see. One sec. That's like a big-ass lake, and I believe it's public land, and you can just fucking camp. Uh, it's quite a nice view, I mean, for sure. Like, um, the drive there. So... You know, the great thing about um, Anza Borrego is it's pretty free, so they don't have much rules at all, so <clears throat> you can essentially backcountry camp, even though it's a state park, so the thing is state parks, they kind of have like regulations, a lot of regulations, but Anza Borrego is kind of one of those state parks that is so chill. Uh, with camping because everybody goes there to camp so and it's just a desert like 600,000 acres and so you know last time I pulled over here to piss but I doubt I'm gonna this time you know I'll pull over somewhere else to piss so but as you guys can see we're heading over I believe um I do have to refuel up a little bit I mean in terms of energy because uh you know, the thing is, guys, I'm going to need some dark chocolate because it's 100 degrees out there. And we're doing trails out there, so it's going to be pretty exhausting. Um, looks like someone blew a tire up here, out here, so. <clears throat> but, guys, I don't know. I felt like it today, so that's why we're doing this. And... Honestly, another good thing is it's, it's a Sunday, so there's plenty of people who are um, coming back from from there, guys. Um, don't worry, I am an expert at distracted driving, so famous last words, but no, we're not going to curse ourselves, but anyways, so I'm hoping, you know, I can start getting some excitement here because honestly drives are boring so this one is just scenic and chill but i'm ready to hit the park hit the trails um i don't know if i'm gonna camp i mean i have everything so i just toss everything in here uh this morning so i have everything to camp but i don't know i mean i'm not fully prepared yet like i might cook out something there i don't know scout out some spots Mostly I'm going for tourist attractions and shit, so... And the trails, like... Anza Borrego has some sick trails, obviously. So... I want to do a lot of trails there. And I want to test myself in 100 degree heat, obviously, too. Um... You know, I also want to see... What the situation is of how hot it gets in this car. Because a lot of the electronics I have here... Melt at, like, 140 or they stop working at 140, so I'm trying to see how hot it gets in, you know, when it's fucking 100 degrees um, outside, and honestly, that could pretty much damage your car, because, and the shit inside of it, because there's no um, shade in this desert, so that's why I'm going before I actually, like, spend a lot of time there, but honestly, this is boring, so I'm going to cut this off, and Hopefully next time we're going to be off-roading somewhere in the desert or some views about, you know, as we go into the park itself. Alright guys, we made a quick pit stop here. I guess it's some kind of campsite or viewpoint or something. But a nice view of this, the mountain I'm going to summit one day. 
I don't know what the name of it is. And behind me, there's another kind of mountain here. Kind of easier to summit. I see someone literally hiking there right now. Um, don't know what it is. But just a little pit stop here. And we'll continue making our way. Um, but pretty cool. Alright guys, looks like we're getting closer to the park entrance. And that stop, guys, was torture. Uh, there was like all these horse flies and they bite and shit. And they're like in my car now and biting me and shit so it's kind of cringe i don't know how to get them out but we're almost inside the park guys and it's looking pretty good so far hopefully we don't veer off the fucking road here but looks pretty cool and as we go further in i'll probably make a stop for you guys but uh guys i'm seeing a lot of fucking just random mountains that I could summit and even rock climb. I wish I had my fucking equipment actually, because this place is full of rock climbing shit. Um, and just all these mountains that that are easily summitable because they're just like there's no bushwhacking necessary. But pretty cool, guys. Uh, I'm glad I came out here. Sorry for the wind. You guys can get a view. Honestly, this is pretty cool. I mean, it looks like we're still on track. Um, but honestly, this is starting to get really cool. So, I hope nothing happens. You know, I'm not gonna, I, I'm praying that nothing happens here. So, but uh, a sick, sick little uh, find, I guess, um, is this way. I've never been, uh, you know, traversed this park this direction, and I guess this is the other side of it. Again, this is a huge park, so it's like fucking 600,000 acres, so... Um, again, so many summitable mountains here, and I think there's like over... I think there's over 100 hikes um, in this park alone. I mean... And then, oh, I just passed a campground. I should have checked that out, honestly. What, what am I doing? Um, I kind of want to check that out. So, what I'm going to do is head back. I'm going to try to make a loop de loop here. Um, uh, this looks really cool, so I want to check out what that is. Um, so, I'm just going to like fucking Yui, I guess. This is, guys, don't try this at home. Even, but you can't, but at the same time don't okay so let's get over there we're gonna traverse this campground and see what's up um it looks cool i don't know if this is blair valley or something or but definitely a spot i could check out here and wow look at all these summitable mountains i could do if i fucking if, if i camped here all right so and then there's no like no one here right now no cars um uh, but let's check this out guys and in real time we're kind of exploring um you know as you guys know i love the exploring part i don't like the driving and shit but stage stage cove looks like it says w what even is this guys let's stage cove so i'm gonna have to look that up but there's a lot of rock climbing and looks like a freaking cool little camp campground i think it's free let's check this out what does it say um, yeah, so, no, um, I mean, it just looks like a standard campground, but it is pretty, um, like, paved. I don't know where the hell this goes, guys, um, but I am going off-road for the first time here in the desert, um, you know, I just want to make sure nothing really fucking kills my car tires or something, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop out real soon. I think this might top my other video in terms of like exploring guys. I'm always trying to top. I'm trying to top right my 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 content guys. So exploring game. So I think this might be the one that does kind of do that. But at the same time I feel like my mood isn't like amazing. So I gotta get my mood up and no one no one has dark chocolate in this area. So honestly I, I don't know what this is. I don't want to get stuck somewhere so... Um, 
we are going off trail literally off trail off road off trail guys so it's pretty deep in guys and i'm pretty uncomfortable not knowing where this goes so what i'm gonna do oh god none of these horse flies and shit guys okay all right um i mean it's obviously just a free dispersed campground i don't want to hop out guys at this point i don't want to like break a tire or some shit but uh you know um probably gonna head head out if there's any way to fucking get out of here because uh, this is getting you know fucking sketchy and uh yeah i'm already slipping on the sand and shit you know what i, I, I gotta get back out somewhere all right guys i'll pause i'll get, resume when i'm out of here guys uh we're doing the sketchiest yui of all time check this out um now I'm half in the fucking forest or whatever and half like this is just the most scuffed Yui in existence like um it's literally just rocky behind me and shit uh, guys guys what what is my life okay all right guys and my car is literally slipping and shit like everywhere but I I honestly don't want to pop a tire so I'm getting the fuck out of here guys god Thank God I brought traction boards, guys, because I already felt my, uh, you know, I have all-wheel drive, but that shit was already getting stuck in the sand. Like, my wheels were spinning. So, it's like, thank God I have fucking all-wheel drive, I mean, traction boards, guys. But, uh, we're, we're, we're zooming out of here. We're getting back on the main roads. I'm hoping you guys are starting to get a little excited. I mean, I am, so you know, the more adventuring we do, I mean, this is the first time I've done something like this, so... You know, it's always a new thing. New new thing kind of gets me excited and shit, guys. Um, I would really love some dark chocolate right now to enhance it, you know, enhance the dramatic effects of what we're, what we're doing here. But, guys, so far, this is a great trip, even if we just did this little thing. So, it's only going to get better. Now, uh, thank God we're out of this fucking place, and I'm going to research that um, before coming back here. But it is empty. Some trails and some mountains I could summit for sure. Alright guys, uh, we passed a lot of these random abandoned buildings, so I guess people that have lived here, uh, that left, their, 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 their homes are just trashed and broken into and shit, so um, definitely weird, uh, you know, weirdest type of civilization, um, definitely feels like we're on Mars or some shit. For sure. And again, don't know where this road goes, but we are thankfully 20 minutes away. Like, if you guys can see the temperature down here, the temperature gauge, it is 198, almost 100 degrees outside. So, uh, you know, <clears throat> I'm driving slow. I don't want my fucking engine to overheat or some shit. Um, Cause that's pretty hot. And I do have the AC on because it's fucking hot and it was getting like a microwave in here, so. But uh, at least the road isn't too bad. Again, it's like there's these ran just random little tiny civilizations everywhere. Because um, I guess it's lawless pretty much. I mean, pretty much it is lawless out here, so. Just scrap yards and just weird things, guys. So, I mean, I feel like most people would be asking me, like, am I scared, um, you know, out here alone, um, and going deeper, basically going pretty deep in, um, all by myself here, um, well, this is my first time, and as I gain more confidence in these types of activities, I... You know, won't be scared, but the only thing I'm really scared about is any sort of my car. So, just as I recently got this car, I haven't tested it out. So, just really the car is what I'm concerned about. Um, so, but right now I'm not really scared. Um, but we'll see. I mean, I do feel pretty safe here, um, for the 
the most part. I mean, it's not like, you know, much is gonna happen. You're pretty, pretty much just like chilling. Um, but again, I, I don't like deserts too much. Um, there's definitely cool stuff in this desert. And um, for sure the meditation's gonna hit, for sure. The wind caves are gonna hit, but uh, uh, when it comes down to deserts, I prefer like more nature. So a desert's kind of like not that naturous. Um, all right, guys, this doesn't really seem like real life at this point. Like this is kind of crazy. So this is totally wild. I feel like I'm in some kind of Western movie or something. Like this don't seem right. Like. I don't know. Like, what is this, guys? Um, I'm totally in a simulation or something, guys. This is so weird. Um, um, yeah, but I hope, guys, well, these wind caves are worth it, guys. Uh, this is a lot for some wind caves, guys, so... But they better be worth it. Um, I'm pretty excited. Just a crazy scenery. All right, guys. So we're entering a sandy area here. So I've aired down my tires a little bit. But I'm going to show you guys the view. Check it out. So we're heading up into the, what I believe it's the parking area of the wind caves or whatever else is there. But this is quite a barren landscape. You're quite in the middle of nowhere. So at this point... We're on our own, so we're gonna make our way over. See you guys when we're there. All right, all right, guys. So, you know, airing down the tires did help a bit, but uh, we're sliding around like a motherfucker, guys. I mean, this is a slip and slide, guys. So, um, look at this, guys. I mean, swerving back and forth. I'm really just look at this, guys. It's like skiing on ice or some shit, guys. So, <clears throat> we're making our way over, and I'm really slipping around like a motherfucker in this car, guys. I see these people with fucking forerunners off-road tires, guys. I'm here slipping around. <laughs> this is so severe. I mean, let me show you the views. Guys, you can see. Well, you can't see, but we're really, really slipping. I mean, slipping like crazy, guys. So, I mean, but we should get there, so I think we'll be good. Uh, this is pretty brutal, um, but nice view, so. All right, guys, so. I've turned traction control off. Um, that should help. But, uh, definitely, definitely interesting to say the least. Alright, guys, we're still nine minutes away on this really sketchy off road. But it's looking pretty cool. We're going into some kind of crevasse or some shit. I had to air down even more. Um,. I don't even have off-road tires. This is just crazy, guys. So, um, honestly, uh, this is just crazy, guys. And, uh, but, cool view. So, that's that's a good good thing. Really beautiful traverse here. Um, through these these boulders or whatever. But super cool. Um really cool guys so but it is hot I mean it's a hundred now outside so hopefully we get to these wind caves I didn't know it was gonna be this complicated thought it was just like a little road there but that seems like everything is okay guys but this is fucking quite intense on the car and stuff so uh, but uh, this is super cool uh, and no one's here. It's pretty hard to get to. So, that's why there's, you know, not going to be many people here. For the most part, everyone's chilling. But, I thought I would take you guys along the drive here. So, honestly, uh, I'm getting a little more confident in my car, but I would like to have some off road tires for sure. Because, uh, this is just uh, um, not good for 
you know, normal tires. So, uh, but I mean, it seems the four, like the four wheel drives okay, but um, it's handling all this stuff, but you know, could be better, could be better. I mean, technically this is a, this, this vehicle, it's a Mazda. It's not even meant to go off road guys. So definitely um, interesting that I'm taking this off road guys. I don't think anyone has taken their Mazda off road like this. I'm not really sure. Um, so I'm just hoping I can make it back alive guys. But uh, definitely, definitely. Stop here, but if I'm being honest guys, this is making me quite nervous. I mean, this is kind of too little, too extreme. I'm hoping we can hit this damn thing. You know, the Fish Creek parking lot here, guys, because it's a little too extreme, guys, so. But, cool little views. We'll keep it moving. All right, guys, just some more views. That's what we chug, keep it chugging here. Definitely out of my comfort zone, guys, honestly. Really out of my comfort zone, guys, and um, you know, at the same time, we're dealing with some crazy heat. You know, my devices may be overheating and stuff. I know my camera might, so... You know, this is quite crazy, so... just want to... It's been such a long off-road trail, man. Um, just want to hit this parking lot and uh, get on a hike, you know, already. Because... Stressing me out, this road. Um, again... You know, really pushing my car here to its limits, so. But, uh, at the same time, I'm trying to enjoy the views here, so. Not everything is going wrong, but definitely quite a crazy, crazy off-road trail here. You know, as much as this is beautiful, I can't really enjoy it too much, guys. So the great thing is you guys can just enjoy this while I'm suffering. So, uh, I mean, there's that, guys. But this is one hell of a fucking drive, guys. Um, would I do this again? No, not, not without off-road tires, man. I'm gonna need some off-road tires, because I, I would need a couple more spares, for sure. Because, uh... 100% I could pop a tire here so easily There's so many sharp rocks Just piercing uh, looking at looking at you piercingly. So At this point guys I'm trying to just get back get get to the freaking parking lot safe looks like we're approaching the uh, Trailhead F fucking finally after all this driving guys uh, Sending me oh Okay So crazy but pretty cool. Looks like there's some kind of trail here. And uh, you know, trying to drive as safe as I can here. Um, but I think we're almost here. Thank thankfully. You know, I can't wait to get on to that back to a paved road at this point. If I'm being fucking honest. Um. I want to hit the trail, get this shit parked, cool off. I'm really dying here. Um, I'm gonna take my shirt off. This heat is actually getting quite insane. So, we, good thing is we're at the place. So, I don't know if I can handle Fawn's Point anymore. You know, after this one, this is beautiful enough. I'll probably call it a wrap. Come back here another day. Um, or just camp here. I mean, fine camping, but you know, exploring off road to this extent, guys. Don't trust my car that much. I mean, I can offer my body as much as I want, but not this damn thing. So, this is just crazy, guys. So, I'm at this point. I mean, how are we even doing this shit, man? All right, this is insanity, dude. Okay. 
Let's get back to fucking ground level. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, we're here though, guys. Update you when I'm parked and shit. I think we're Gucci. Alright, guys, we are here at the Wind Caves trailhead. We're gonna check it out. And, uh, blaring hot, guys. So I'm gonna take my shirt off. Let's get the party started. The desert and the goddamn straight up desert, guys. So, parked somewhere down there. Somewhere way down there, guys. So, Making our way up this trail. Hopefully, there's some wind caves here. So, that's what we're here for. Came here for some wind caves, but we're in the little desert, you know, five miles deep. So, again, we're stuck here. That shit don't start. My car don't start. We are stuck here. So. Guys, let's make this hike worth it. It's already like we're on an alien landscape here, guys. Check it out. So, very interesting, guys. Very interesting. I'm gonna keep it moving, guys. All right, guys. We're traversing this ridge line, guys, to hopefully see some wind caves, guys. We're we're really out here in the desert, in the middle of nowhere, guys. Alright, guys, check it out. We're finally at the wind caves. So, after about a one mile hike uphill, we're finally at the wind caves. And check this view out, guys, of the whole desert, guys. It's quite crazy. We're going to explore some wind caves, check these things out, and honestly. Probably there's some shade in there we can chill at, so. Quite, quite a spectacular view, guys. So, we're gonna traverse back down, check out some wind caves. That's what we came here for, that's what we risk our lives for, for some wind caves, guys. So, it is literally 100 degrees out right now. It is, guys. I need to take my shirt off because I'm sweating so hard. But we're gonna hit up these wind caves, some shade in there, and chill out, meditate for a bit, check them out. Actually, I'm not gonna end this recording. We're just gonna make our way over to the wind caves and see what's up, guys. So, another view, another angle, guys. So, we're just living life out here, guys. But at the same time, we don't wanna go too far, right? So. Check these bad boys out, guys. So, I don't know how they were formed, but they say it by the wind, obviously. So, probably gonna go into some, check some out. And we did come a long way here for this, so let's check these out. I mean, they look quite interesting. So, you know, at this point, I am going to change in there. Guys, we are so far out. We're in the middle of the desert, five miles into the desert off-road, about a mile off-road of that off-road. So we're deep in, guys. This is probably the craziest adventure I've been on to date. So honestly, really cool structures here, guys, as you can see. Check it out. Let's go in here. Okay. Super cool, guys. You can hear my echoes and shit. It's actually shaded. So, super cool, guys. These little wind caves. Nice shade. Honestly. Pretty cool sort of a alien looking things here. So quite interesting guys. You know, I'm probably gonna meditate in one of these cause I'm fucking getting exhausted guys, so
guys, this doesn't look like something out of a Hollywood movie. I mean, where are we, guys? Traversing wind caves. So, solo traversing wind caves. New adventure unlocked, guys. Honestly, I wish I had a ton of dark chocolate to really soak this in, because at this point, I'm literally exhausted. Oh, I'm starting to get dehydrated, guys. I'm low on energy. I need that dark chocolate, guys. So, this is cool, though. It's like 100 degrees, though. So, literally, this camera could overheat at this point. So, again, we're just checking out all these caves here, guys. They do look pretty interesting to lay down in. Lots of shade, so. But besides that, I don't think there's much else in this area. Um, probably gonna film some content-based topics up here. But, we'll see. Gotta get some meditation in to actually think of those topics and get those realizations in again. Those realizations more so come from mountains. Not really these things, but because the desert, guys, just... The only realization is why the fuck are you in the desert, guys? It's like, at this point, why are we exhausting ourselves, you know? So, that's my only realization, guys, is why the fuck are we in the desert, guys? So, um, but very cool landscape, guys. Definitely no snakes around, guys, because they like to the shade, so they're not going to be out in the open like this. But my God, guys, I'm sure is soaked. And we're here on Mars, guys. Mars, quite crazy, guys. And I'm an idiot, so before when I get back, I'm gonna load up on five billion bars of dark chocolate. So this never happens again, guys, because I was supposed to enjoy this, but can't really fully enjoy this, take this all in um, without that dark chocolate. So gonna need that dark chocolate. But we're at the summit here, some kind of tiny summit here. And, uh, let's check out the view from up here. You guys have kind, of, kind of already seen the wind caves, so. This is what life's all about, guys. It's just, wow. This makes you realize that we're in the butt fucking nowhere. Butt fucking middle of nowhere, guys. Like, ain't no one gonna save you up here, guys. Like, what the fuck? You know, there's only two people here. There's one car here. Just me and some other car, but wow, what a spectacular view, boys and girls. So, what we're gonna do is end this vlog here, the wind caves. I'm gonna enjoy them and enjoy the view. And, uh, definitely sick find, guys. Definitely. I really wanted to come here today. Just do the wind caves. It was a two and a half hour drive here. Just for wind caves, guys. Crazy, right? I mean, I was supposed to do a whole itinerary. But this heat is crazy. Um, not prepared at all, so... Probably gonna rehydrate, get my electrolytes in. I mean, this whole point too is to do some heat training up here. So we did get a lot of heat training in, sweating a lot, so. No dark chocolate though, guys. Do need a piss too. This is gonna be the most glorious piss of my life right up here, guys. So, uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. You now I wanna end it off here just cause you know, not much else, it's not my type, you know, it's not like a jungle or anything, so, nothing crazy, crazy amazing, where I can chill in nature, I mean, I'm chilling, but I'm like exhausted chilling, so it's kind of different, but, uh, we'll chill in the wind, wind cave for a bit, and head back down, but guys, honestly, I did enjoy this, a new adventure, um, again, I'm not really in that energetic mood, so apologize for that, guys, 
Um, as far as Sarah Barker, if you guys are asking, Sarah Barker, really no update on, guys. Um, so nothing on that front, so we're just out here exploring. Uh, kind of probably just going to get back, piece this vlog together, upload it quickly, and you know, from there, guys, I need to find better adventures, obviously. Preferably the ones that are not too crazy off-road, like I'm fine with the fire road, but anything that's like this off-road where it's like a danger to my car and shit, it's like too extreme, we'll try to avoid. And that combined with the desert is just a recipe for disaster. You get stranded because this heat alone could kill you. Like a hundred is crazy. So, um, you know, I'll have probably like two, three days of water. So, but I would be fine technically because it is a semi-popular. People do come out here and... All right, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed this vlog, guys. Something new. Um, would I bring Sarah Barker on this one? No, I would not, guys. So, would not bring Sarah Barker on this one, guys. Um, this one's just for me. But what I'm going to do is probably come back here and scout out prime camping areas. Because I do like to chill here. Um, and I want to summit some things. Probably early in the morning when it's cooler. Um, when it's not 100, you know. But weirdly enough, there's 4G out here. I have no clue how. We're in the middle of nowhere. So I don't see any towers. Um, but guys, call here. Chill out some wind caves. Peace. All right, guys. It's your boy, Didi Drip Jesus. We're out here in 100 degree heat. So not much else going on. We're here at the wind caves. Um, we're about... A Five miles off-road, a mile into the trail, and really, the middle of nowhere, so. As you guys can see, this is not where life is supposed to be. So. <clears throat> that kind of brings me on to the topic of the day, guys. So. As I'm out here, first of all, I do realize <sighs> coming out in the middle of the desert, guys, this far out in the middle of the desert, unprepared, it's not the best idea, guys. So, so, essentially, you know, I'm going to show you guys around a bit, but uh, we are going to head back, uh, basically, down. Um, Traverse some wooden caves, as you guys can see. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about deserts, guys. They're a little, a little non-chill. Why is they non-chill? It's because you're sweating and you're dehydrating. Honestly, they're not that chill, guys. So, don't know what the hype is about deserts, guys. But, uh, pretty cool little wind caves here, guys. Uh, so, uh, I'm gonna stand here in some shade. Get some shade in. <sighs> Snack up, maybe. So... You guys know at this point I'm just kind of exploring life exploring life guys so what lessons can I bring from here I guess just to explore life guys um, I don't know what else guys um, let's traverse this wind cave this could be a good place to set up chair but at the same time we are trying to get the fuck out cuz we are in the middle of a desert all alone at the end of the day, so. <sighs> so, guys. Nope, not much going on, really, in my life, besides adventuring. So, and peace. So, uh, at this point, guys, we have no idea what type of content to give. Um... 
point guys I do prefer chiller nature it's not this hot not this scarce on resources so we are making our way back but something new something new all right guys we're heading back and honestly guys I'm feeling way more confident about driving off-road now definitely getting the hang of it and it was just the first time guys that was so iffy but I'm kind of knowing now how to flow with the trail flow with the car and stuff now I just gotta make sure I have another spare on hand in case we get a pop. So I think that's just the biggest concern. I'm gonna accommodate for that in the future here. Um, but um, this thing can handle pretty well off-road. I mean, for the most part, as long as you got something all-wheel drive, you should be good with somewhat decent clearance. I'm getting through all this tough stuff um, relatively easy. Um, so guys, if you haven't tried off-roading, definitely try it out. I mean, if you have a spot to go, you know, there's a lot of spots here that require off-road. Uh, that's why I got an off-road camper. Like, guys, imagine trying to take a van here, guys. It's not possible. So, um, you know, like you need it. You need clearance, guys. So that's why I didn't get a van for van life. So. A van could not do this, guys. Um, unless you have like a four-wheel drive uh, off-road tires van, it's kind of tricky. So, as you can see, it's not an easy road by any means. A lot of sharp rocks, and these sharp rocks can actually puncture your tires. So uh, I prefer the soft sand here. Soft sand is just easier to drive through with deflated tires. So. Um, it's kind of how I'm learning how to off-road for the most part. Um, you know, I'm not an expert by any means now, but I am an expert if I, uh, well, I'm an expert now, but uh, I just need to accommodate for failures. So, failures of my tires, that's pretty much it. You don't really need off-road tires, like I said before. Um, off-road tires help, but at the end of the day, off-road tires pop just as much, so, I've seen off-road tires pop a lot more frequently and so I might just get another regular street tire just in case but if I have one more tire two spares I feel like I'm completely fine um, off-roading and I definitely have the confidence now and this will just let me go to more and more spots I uh, you know traverse more and more off-road trails because uh, really it's that confidence you need that's what I figured out it's like and obviously mapping so and the cell booster helps guys I didn't have to use it too much but the cell booster helps and once I get a Starlink probably I'll feel extremely safe going really far off-road now I'm very careful about clearance so I know what approach angles to take um, because if you if you if a rock goes under your car you know it could puncture any pipelines fluids are down there your gas tanks are all down there so you can't really have a rock pierce the bottom of your car so you got to navigate properly around them um, so it's like this is a shitty car for off-road this is not even meant for off-road it's a city car so um, it is capable so give me a Jeep guys and I will be like the best Jeeper fucking Jeeper out there guys so honestly I have the confidence at this point and uh, thankfully, not over, not overconfident yet. Um, as you can see, quite a fucking crazy trail here. Um, so I just want to get back, basically. And uh, but the view is nice, guys. And if you guys saw my content on the mountain. You know, it was totally ass. So. Um, pretty much the deserts desert hiking quite difficult unless it's like something really good Then I could see it, but 
I would prefer desert hiking that's not required to go boat off trail and then boat deep into a trail because that's a recipe for disaster. Um, so honestly, I still prefer hiking and backpacking. I would feel way more comfortable sleeping in a tent at this point than a um, my car. I mean, I'm fine in my car if there's just not this crazy amount of heat. Um, but guys, it's definitely rewarding if you're, you know, you saw me fearful in the beginning of this video, guys. And now I'm not, but, um, because you kind of get the grasp of it, you know. So, definitely, if you're fearful, right, I want to pass this lesson on, guys, is if you're fearful, um, you got to attack those fears because it's not as bad, right? You know, I had a fear that I was going to break down, pop a tire, but nothing really happened. And I do have a spare at the end of the day. Um... It's not a full-on spare, but it, it'll get me back, you know, so. Guys, overcome your fears, right? That's the biggest thing I want to teach you guys. Or if you take the, anything from this, right? Guys, I'm trying to overcome as many fears as I can. And so, right, I'm trying to push myself out of my comfort zone as much as I can. And uh, this has really pushed me because this is the really extreme of the extreme. Um... Keep in mind, my car has no modifications. There's nothing off road. It's just a general, a normal SUV. And uh, yeah, so it's pretty bad, right? I've seen people on this trail. They all have lifted trucks and uh, off road tires and monster jeeps and trucks and stuff. So you know, I've, I've a tiny city car here. And guys, it's just all about confidence. It's about preparing, having those fail safes, and just take your fears on guys like honestly it's so worth it so i'm just figuring out what i have left to tackle in terms of fears and every day i'm taking on a new fear so hopefully you know by the time i die i'm like an expert at life or something i'm gonna slow down here big big ass yeah guys so can't film and go off road but um we are on the way back properly so I do install Google Maps offline, Google Maps, just in case, because there was no signal here, so need that offline map. Um, you know, I'm always back, thankful to be back in one piece, guys. This could have gone wrong, you know, a million things could have gone wrong here, so. You know, I'm more comfortable, again, hiking, backpacking. Look, for me, you know, taking the Appalachian Trail is a through hike like a 90 day through hike is less risky than this you know like when you're backpacking you don't got much risks besides your own body breaking down so again i feel like today i've tackled you know one of the hardest things that i could tackle for myself guys and honestly i hope you guys do the same so i want you guys to tackle something hard today something that you're scared of it doesn't have to be extreme honestly as long as it's out of your comfort zone guys the reward is immense so it's about expanding that comfort zone as much as you can and look i know someone left a comment here about um on one of my videos about their situation about moving to south korea i believe with their wife now <clears throat> in that case guys you know you want to take the path that's the most difficult so if you really want that spiritual that that growth to come take the most difficult path right and not difficult just to be difficult but take the most path the path that would expand you the most out of your comfort zone because when you do that you know basically when you do that guys you'll have a bigger reward so sure there's some risks but Look, ultimately, also it comes down to you just imagining. Can you imagine yourself doing that? So, again, can you imagine yourself in South Korea? Um, or, look, I mean, even if you can't, you gotta do, at the same time, you gotta follow your gut, gut too. So, you know, your gut instinct is always right because it's tied to your heart center. Um, usually, logic in the mind is, is wrong. So, Usually, if you follow your mind and follow logic, because again, let me tell you, let me pause this music, it's kind of loud. But uh, let me tell you guys, so you follow your mind, you're gonna end up in more suffering. And look, if I was following my mind, 
my logic, my fears, my anxieties. I wouldn't come out here today, guys. I had to overcome these anxieties and fears. I mean, it was pretty scary. You guys saw in the beginning of the video. It was pretty scary, you guys. It still is a little bit scary, but... As you guys can see, this car is not capable of being off-road by any means. So, I'm really pushing it to its limits here. And... So, guys... I definitely, you know, want you guys to get out of your comfort zones. So, I know a lot of you already are, but that's what this channel is all about. And yeah, we talk about spiritual stuff here and there. And, but the spiritual stuff is really boils down to living life, right? So that's what the spiritual stuff is. I mean, you can sit there all day and watch a hundred spiritual videos, but will you become, will you, will you live life and start? No, I mean, you're just consuming information and content it's about living life guys so it's about being in the moment enjoying life right that's the most spiritual you can get because you're just enjoying your life here so you don't really have to worry about being spiritual guys um in fact a lot of spiritual stuff is a distraction from you enjoying life and enjoying the present moment so get out there guys do something new do something fun because the reward is immense guys so you know the reward for doing something new it snowballs so start doing more and more new things so gravitates towards new things and uh you'll feel a lot better let me just make sure i'm on the right path right way here so yeah guys trust me you want to snowball so like me the more new stuff i do the more i'm snowballing right so it's a snowball effect guys the more you stay in your routines right avoid the routines avoid the patterns like this was totally against my patterns my routines guys i've never done this in my life so it was so rewarding guys trust me you know it'll snowball so now i just want to keep doing new things and more and more adventures just new things in general right it ticks on that new thing pathway in your brain where everything you do will start being new and you'll kind of break out of those old patterns um so uh this is a very sketchy part of the trail here um really sketch so <clears throat> gonna try to crawl it um it's quite oh, okay it's quite a crazy one and uh you know they say it's more so like the driver rather than the car so i definitely feel that because i saw someone with a huge lifted truck here and huge suspension lift but he kept smashing into rocks i don't think he knew he what he was doing and it was just banging the bottom of his truck and stuff. And I don't know if that's really healthy for your car. But I think it's more so the driver, right? Rather than the actual car itself. The car helps, though. Like having a having a Jeep. Like if I had a Jeep, I would be pretty much insane at off-roading. Um, but we're hitting the main, the main road here. I'm going to air up my tires. Uh, I have a compressor for that. And... I think, you know, the more I do this stuff, I mean, I'm already a fine camping in my SUV. Um, it's about finding the spots, right? I have everything in my SUV. I can set up camp at any time. It's, it's about the spots I really feel like camping at. And uh, honestly, for the most part, um, you know, I'm ready to go, guys, so... Once I find those rewarding spots where I actually feel like I want to stay overnight, I will. I think at this point I have no fears left anymore. So I really overcome all my fears. And the worst thing is I came here in the worst case scenario. Like, what is it? It's 100 degrees, as you guys can see. If you guys can see right down there. Oh, one sec. Yeah, it's about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And so it's quite hot, guys. Um, on top of that, I did a hike in, that, in this heat. Um... I didn't even have enough chocolate. I didn't have chocolate at all, guys. So I really came out here in the worst case scenario, which I always do. As you guys saw, I did that solo mountain traverse in the worst case scenario. I always end up doing this. I don't know how. I guess because I'm just rushing to get to the spot, you know. I don't have time to prepare like crazy. But, you know. It's kind of the situation, guys. Um... 
kind of the head back. Just gonna show you guys the view and then I have to do a check around on the car and everything. I mean, I gotta make sure that my tires are still, nothing's pierced and losing air. But uh, guys, honestly, I hope you enjoyed today's content. I mean, it was pretty scuffed in my opinion. I feel like it got a little better towards the end here as I, I gained a mood boost and a little bit of self-confidence and honestly, um, I'm not traversing this. Uh, this is so sketchy. So what I'm going to do is back out, guys. Honestly, I hope you guys enjoy something new. Me too. Like, I really enjoy this. Something new. Usually, you see me on the trails, like, camera pointed at the trail while I'm walking. And here, it's kind of like the car, you know. Like, instead of, it's like the car and just the road. And, you know, we're kind of doing the same thing as hiking. We're kind of hiking with our car, if that makes any sense. So, check out this sketchy um, traverse down here, guys. So, we're going to go ahead and try our best here, down this, oh my god, so, yeah, so I fucked up right there, guys, I definitely was not paying attention, may have pierced something, I don't know, I'm going to have to check on that, um, so, I'm going to check on that for sure, uh, <clears throat> so, So guys, if you're going to take something from this video, please do the hard thing, do the new thing, do the thing that your mind, well, do the thing that goes against your fears of your mind, um, do what your gut tells you, you know, if your gut is telling you to do something, you should do it, even if it's a hard thing to do, and you'll never go wrong listening to your gut or your heart. But trust me, you'll always go wrong listening to your mind. Um, so that's something Buddha knew. That's something a lot of spiritual teachers knew. Is if you follow the path of your mind, you're going to end up depressed, suffering, just unhappy guys with life. So honestly, that's why I just try to keep following my, my gut. You know? Anytime I feel resistance, like fear or resistance in my mind, I try to just overcome it. And YouTube kind of helps with that, guys, because I can't just be making the same old boring content all the time. So I do have to get out of my comfort zone because of YouTube, too. But it's forcing me to do such a thing. And you guys can do that, too, without YouTube and stuff. So <clears throat> we're on the main road now. I'm going to air up and guys. I hope you enjoy this one. As you guys can see, you know, my camper is a mess. So, uh, we just have random shit back here growing up. Not a, not a camper or tiny home by any means, but, you know, we're getting there. So, we're getting there slowly. And, uh, catch you guys later.